That main event, Ben Shelton, they've pushed the infield tires in. How do things look from the heartbeat hot sauce hot pit? Uh, it looks good. It's streaked up down here. You've got some slick spots. you got a lot of moisture. And I'm going to go with Jonathan Davenport from inside of row two for the win, and he'll be the point leader with tonight's over. A bold pick, my friend, James Essex. Who you got? The defending Jackson 100 winner. How about Ricky Thornton Jr. in the Kohler Motorsports 20 RT? Essex is going to, in the house that Essex built, he will leave the 71 on the table. Are you going to do it? You gonna do it? Bobby Pierce has been really oh, good lately, guys. No, no. But I'm going with the winner of the Castro race here a couple weeks ago. The New Deal, Hudson O'Neill. All right. You're playing to the home crowd. All right, Nutrient Act Solution starts on 40 laps. 10,000 to win the third annual C.J. Rayburn Memorial for the Lucas Oil 8 Monitor Series. We are underway, Dustin Jarrett. And it will be Bobby Pierce to that early, early hole shot down the front straightaway. He'll quickly slide up the racetrack and try to take that outside line away from the 20RT. And look at Jonathan Davenport. He's trying to go from third to first on lap number one, but he's got Pierce in front of him. And we've got a Dave Warren Power Sports caution as Dalton Wilson has slowed to a stop in turn number two. So... It's the leader plus three to not do that, so it'll be a complete restart. And Dalton Wilson, a single car caution. Does he have a tire down? Not sure. And that Ratliff 18D trying to check it out does not look like it. So he will have to go to the back, being a multi with a multi car caution. Everybody gets her spot back. That was a single car, so we'll do it again. And he started back in the 12th row anyway, James, so he will just go back a couple rows, but nonetheless, Dalton Wilson will now have to come from shotgun in this 28 car starting field. Pierce got the early hole shot last time. Jonathan Davenport had a real good start, though. We'll see how things shake out the next time we try it. 34 wins this year for Bobby Pierce, the World 100 in Knoxville. Unbelievable. Year. Ricky Thornton Jr. on the outside, 13 wins in the Lucas Oil Label to Dirt Series. J.D., the Pittsburgher winner. J.D.'s been back-to-back -back in the Lucas Oil Series. Port Royal and at Pittsburgh. Hudson uh, O'Neill in 71, won the Castro race here a week and a half ago. We'll back green next time around. 40 laps, complete restart, except for the 18-D to the tail. Nutrient Act Solution start zone. Pierce and Thornton lead him to the green flag, Dustin. Looked like a little better start that time for the 20RT of Ricky Thornton Jr. We'll see if he's able to keep the momentum in the middle of the racetrack. Down the back straightaway, he is not, but his tail tucked back in line. Maybe second at the end of this first lap. Hudson O'Neill on the high side. Davenport was second at the end of lap one. The first time we tried it this time, he'll be in fourth. O'Neill using that outside down the back straightaway, the 71 car. Homer Jackson, 100 winner, knows his way around here for the lead out at turn four. It's Pierce. O'Neill goes to second at 71. Hudson O'Neill trying to tiptoe around the top of this quarter mile fairgrounds oval, James. There's a look at the top three on your screen early in the going in this one with 28 cars on the track. Lap times in the mid 14s. It will not take them long to reach the tail of the field. Right now, it is Bobby Pierce out in front. O'Neill, Thornton, and we got a car off the track. And caution flag. And it's the 7R of Chad Stapleton, two-time track champion, Dustin. Yeah, tough break for Stapleton as he has slipped off the top of turns three and four. And that'll bring out a Dave Warren Power Sports caution. Three laps into this one, 37 laps remaining. So Pierce. O'Neill, O'Neill rolling the high side. Ricky Thornton Jr., Jonathan Davenport rolling that low groove. And then Tyler, boy, Tyler Herb has had some good runs here in the past. Uh, he's a former two-time winner here at Brownstown. You know, you know Dylan Kleins, right? He's the, one of the crew on Devon Moran. His dad celebrating a birthday today. We, I know we don't usually give shout outs because if we do, we'll have a million of them. But a happy birthday to you, Mr. Steve Klein. Oh, how about that? Very cool. Do we have an early contender for the Todd Steel Building's hard charger, Dustin? Well, I know, I know an app, and it's, you called know an my, app. it's called My Race Pass, and I use it all the time, and Carson Ferguson. There you go. Holding down those honors right now as the driver of the Paylor Motorsports entry. Started 27th. He currently runs 21st. Again, the night's finished. No effect on tomorrow. Again, it's a complete new show tomorrow night. So if you're out there and we got super stocks and pure stocks and the Lucas Oil late models, 
richest race ever here at Brownstown. 150,000 feature purse, 50,000 to win in an absolutely incredible weather forecast here tomorrow. Absolutely. So Bobby Pierce has led the first three laps. Hudson O'Neill is second, then okay. it's Thornton Davenport at Herb. Yes, sir. Are, are you surprised Hud chose the inside lane? Yes. Here. Okay. He I mean, he's his been way rolling, around here. He'd been rolling the high side. I, I'm thinking that uh, he's thinking he can get a little better, a little better run or angle into corner, corner number one. This track's good. It's been good all night. Thanks to Jim Price for all the work he did here. We'll try it all tomorrow night. But right now we got 37 to go to honor C.J. Rayburn. It's Pierce O'Neill and Thornton at the Nutrient Act Solution Three Start Zone back underway at Brownstown. And Ricky Thornton Jr. gets a little better restart than Hudson O'Neill. Those two drivers limbo through turns one and two to see who can go lower. Uncle T on the outside of Jonathan <laughs> Davenport trying to take that fourth spot away. And he's trying to bring his uncle Dennis Irv. No, there's no relation with him. Cousin, cousin Dennis. Uncle now they see they're trying to go four <laughs> wide, that three wide almost. O'Neill and Herb on the bottom. Dennis Herb Jr. He won the Ira Baston Memorial here back in April. And he has moved into the third spot in that rocket Davenport. O'Neill tries to go through the middle up front. You're not missing anything. It's Pierce first, Thornton second. It's a horn in the hornet's nest behind him. It's Dennis Herb Jr. third in the headline crew chief 28. When this bunch things up in the Big River Steel chase for the championship. Right now, Ricky Thornton Jr. second. Jonathan Davenport edged out. Hudson O'Neill that last time by. Davenport is fourth. Tim McCready is seventh. Devin Moran has worked his way up to 14th, James. You know the run he had here a week or so ago in the Castro Flow Nine. Right now, Pierce leads by about seven car lengths. Bobby Pierce out at turn number four. Heads down the main straightaway. Bobby Pierce, four career wins here at Brownstown. And we got a spin at turn four. We got oh, off sideways. Oh. It's Tim McCready and the Dave Warren Power Sports Caution is out. We had a driver's door facing oncoming traffic, Dustin. And I believe that means the blend rule will apply here, James. We'll have to check with Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series officials, see if that one came to a complete stop or not. If it did, it'll fall to the tail of the field. If it didn't, the blend rule, I believe, would be in place. We'll take a look at your Flow Racing Instant Replay and see exactly what happened here with the one of Tim McCready. Here's McCready going through turns three and four. And as you mentioned, driver's door facing oncoming traffic. And no, he did not. He did not come to a stop. So that driver will blend in with where he would have been running when the decision was made to pull the Dave Warren Power Sports caution flag. And meanwhile, Jason Jamison has made his way into the heartbeat hot sauce hot pit. He's getting work done on the 12 men. Yeah, they go to work on that race car. And he kind of just not making up much ground early in this one. This is a place that he's been good at. So they're going to make some adjustments. A 40 lapper can usually go by in a hurry, but we've already seen a handful of Dave Warren Power Sports cautions. And right now, Bobby Pierce probably just wants to stay clean track in front of him. The 32 looking good so far, but still 32 laps to go. You saw, you saw Heather Line down there. How about Dennis Serb Jr. ninth to third, but the biggest mover of the race Started 21st. He's up 11 spots. Devin Moran in 99. He was, I tell you what, he was really picking some cars off there just before that caution came out, James. I had an eye on him. And now you have got. We'll see where he goes. Yeah, and see where McCready will be on this restart as well. As he, it looks like McCready will fall the way to the tail end of the field. So I may, I, I, I got to look at my, uh, just very honest. I got to look at my Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series notes there on that one car blending into the field. So it's eight in the books, James. 32 to go. And it's Pierce, Thornton, Dennis Herb, Jonathan Davenport, Hudson O'Neill, the top five. All right, on the restart, 32 to go at the Nutrient Act Solutions restart zone. Dennis Herb Jr. may have the best car on the racetrack, and he's got a good restart, and Dennis Herb Jr. is going to go to second already. Ninth to second, DJ in the 28 car. Yeah, Dennis Herb Jr. right now looking sporty. Only two wins this season. One came way early in the year at the Toilet Bowl weekend in Clarksville. Picked up another win over the summer at Quincy, the Summer Nationals. Right now, 
trying to find victory lane for Brownstown for the first time this season. So well, he won an Orland All-Star Ira Baston Memorial in April. Thank you. Yes, thank, thank you thank very, you very much. much. Good job. I appreciate that. Thank All you. BP 32 right now, DJ, down the straightaway. Herb second, third is Thornton, fourth Hudson O'Neill, fifth is Mikey Marler in the 157. Marler up five spots. Stay in trouble for Dave Hess Jr. as he slows on the front straightaway and will limp that car off into the pit area. It looks like his evening has come to a finish. Meanwhile, this time by at the stripe, 11 lap score and a 1.42 second advantage for the smooth operator. Well, 34 wins this year. As he comes out of turn number four down the main straightaway, Dennis Herb Jr. Thornton right through the middle. Then it's O'Neill in 71, Marler, Davenport, English, Blair in the 111, Shepard in the B5, Moran in the 99. Moran still in that 10th spot. Right now, Thornton running for second on Herb down the main straightaway. Moran had actually moved up one spot the previous lap, then fell back to 10th as you're looking at the battle for second on your screen is Todd. Excuse me, the 28 of Dennis Herb Jr. going to relinquish that spot to Ricky Thornton Jr. So that is an important 10 championship points gained right there by Ricky Thornton Jr. if he's able to hang on. Right now, Pierce will pick up the tail end of the field for the first time in this race off at turn number four, 15 in the books. Right now, Thornton would take over the points lead in the 20 RT right there for Kohler Motorsports. Moran would fall to third, Davenport second. We still have, what, 24 race to go. Traffic off a of turn four for your race leader around Corey Lawler is Bobby Pierce. Yeah, Bobby Pierce with a 1.8 second lead over Ricky Thornton Jr. and Dennis Earp. 17 laps, excuse me, 16 laps into this one. 24 laps to go. So quickly closing in on the halfway. Boy, Pierce quickly closing in on the 17 double S of Brendan Smith right there. Devin Moran up to ninth, looking for eighth on Brandon Shepard. Down the main straightaway, Shepard still has the spot. So right now, still Pierce Thornton, Dennis Herb Jr., Hudson O'Neill, Mike Marler, your top five, the defending race winner in the 157. Tell you what, things getting very interesting there for Bobby Pierce at times. At the front of the field, a high-speed game of cat and mouse between he and second place Ricky Thornton Jr. And now heavy lap traffic you see on the screen for your race leader, Bobby Pierce, one lap shy of halfway. Around the 17 double S of Brandon Smith, the 12 of Jason James, the 6 of Clay Harris, now behind the 1 of Tim McCready. So, right now, off at of turn number four, the advantage looking good right now for the 32 car in a career year out of turn number two. Second remains Thorne, but he's got three cars between first and second into turn three. There's O'Neill in third, or excuse me, fourth. Dennis Serb Jr. right in front of him in the third spot. Yeah, and uh, Hudson O'Neill quickly reeling in the 28 of Dennis Serb Jr. as well. Remember, Hud was up to second at one time and a caution flag shuffling back just a few spots now. You see he and Mike Marler working the top of the racetrack. And we got one car boom break slow on the back straightaway, and that will bring out a Dave Warren Power Sports caution for the driver of the XS Storage 99B. The 21 laps now, 19 laps remaining and boom slow on the racetrack looks like he is going to try to find an opening and make his way to the heartbeat hot sauce hot pick Corey Lawler going to bring his dad Poncho's 93 car don't forget heartbeat hot there sauce well. get your favorite heartbeat hot sauce products heartbeathotsauce.com or at amazon.com as Corey Lawler down in that Sunoco race fuels dry dean at number 93 so 20 one scored, right? 19 to go. It's Pierce, Thornton, Herb, Dennis Herb Jr., O'Neill, and Marler, your top five, Dustin. And then sixth spot is Jonathan Davenport, Tanner English, seventh, Max Blair, eighth, Brandon Shepard, ninth, and as you mentioned, Devin Moran right now would be the Todd Steel Building's hard charger. So he's worked his way from 21st up to 10th. Jimmy Owens up 10 spots, 24th to 14th. Remember, to be Delaware double file restart to what, five or less laps to go, right? At yep. a 40 lap main event. You look rare on the, those of you watching at home, you just saw where the championship four were running on the racetrack. So again, it's Thornton second, Davenport sixth, the Moran 10th. And the one of McCready is 22nd. 
Guys, they're taking a look under the rear end of Boom Briggs number 99B. Meanwhile, Jason Jameson came back to the heartbeat hot sauce hide pit. All four tires up on that race car. They made a, a shock adjustment on it, and Corey Lawler, all four tires up as well, as they made a right rear adjustment on the 93 car. And if you're Bobby Pierce, you love that Dave Warren Power Sports caution because they were two and three wide lap cars in front of him. And right now, this racetrack is really, really good, but it's chaos for the leaders. Yeah, only one car out of the race bin, and that is Dave Hess Jr., so 27 of the 28 starters, Dustin, still on the racetrack. And again, that's going to make things interesting if we have a green flag run here for about eight laps or so as boom breaks. Corey Lawler have made their way out of the heartbeat hot sauce hot pit. They will tag the tail of the field. Your leader, Bobby Pierce, trips the trigger in the new Grand Axe Solutions restart zone. James, we're back underway with 19 to go. That did kill Longhorn out of turn number two down the back straightaway. Now does RTJ have anything for him? Thornton won here twice a year ago. Castro Flow died in the Lucas Oil Late Monitor Series. Jackson 100. Thornton on the bottom. Pierce still leads. Third to the oh, three wide at the one. Marler. Are you kidding me? Boy, CJ would be proud of that move, would he? Marler right through the middle of Hudson O'Neill and Urban. They're still at it trying to go three wide at a three. I, I oh, mean, baby. You talk about threading the needle. Holy smokes. The move over the red horn was. Oh, man. <laughs> There's your slicker graphic, slickest move of the race go. right there. Yes. Stamp, sealed delivered and Marler may not be done yet he's quickly closing in on Ricky Thornton Jr. well documented the struggles the turmoils of 157 has had this summer that time by circle gets the square move the 157 up to the number two spot started 10th he won this race a year ago in a comeback win he's not done yet Mikey Marler the top at Brownstown down the main straight away what do we got, 15 to go? Something turn fitting, number one. Something fitting about Mike Marler and a C.J. Rayburn Memorial Race. They were good friends. Marler, remember the time he won the Hillbilly 100 yes. in a C.J. Rayburn powered. C.J. Rayburn race car, and you saw right there, he just got the right rear off the top. And it was a steel block. Yes, it was a steel motor in a, in a C.J. Rayburn race car. Marler there, you saw, lost a spot, James. No change in the championship four. Actually, there is. Davenport has fallen down to eighth, you see, on the left side of your screen there, upper left. Thornton second, Davenport eighth, the Moran tenth, McCready 22nd. Moran still the Todd Steel Building's hard charger, trying to move up some more. Meanwhile, Pierce, man, Marler, he had a shot there, but that was going to cost him as they come off a of turn number four. Mikey right now into the third spot. English, how about Tanner English up to fourth? Tanner English started in 13th. Looking for that Indiana U Triple SA Fats Biz Softball $500 bonus to a Kentucky driver that has never won a Lucas Oil race for Tanner English. That Coleman Farb 96, Dustin. You know, I'm watching the lines being run here. Second, third, fourth, uh, all right around the bottom of this racetrack. Bobby Pierce, he's been kind of in the middle of this racetrack and fanning out the high side coming off the corners. You're looking back there in a great battle for sixth, seventh, and eighth at the moment between Brandon Shepard. Dennis Serb Jr., Max Blair, all right there together. This John at the Davenport in the 49. He's fallen back to the ninth spot. And this time by nine laps to go for Bobby Pierce. 1.5 seconds, the advantage. He's led it wire to wire. MD3, most laps led into turn three. Right now, Ricky Thorne Jr. trying to make up time on the bottom. Thorne not done yet off at turn four. Heavy traffic. 1.1 was the last deficit. It's it's an four tenths of a second. Oh, we got a battle for the lead down the back straightaway, Dustin. Bobby Pierce and Ricky Thorne Jr. in heavy traffic into turn three. Drivers in front of them battling for position at the tail end of the field. These guys battling for a win at the front of the field. Seven laps to go this time by. More importantly, Al Pierce slips up coming off the corner. That opens up the door for Ricky Thorne Jr. down the back straightaway. Pierce has led all the way, but a new leader. And here comes Mike Marler back in it. He's not done yet. Off at turn four, a dandy at Brownstown. Ricky Thorne Jr. out in front. Pierce second, Marler third. Out at turn number two, down the back straightaway. Oh, baby. Here comes Mikey. But how about it? Ricky Thorne Jr. in traffic got the lead, and here he comes. He would have the series points lead after tonight if he's able to hang on and win, James. Five laps to go for RTJ. Top three all within the same half straightaway of each other. Thornton, Pierce, and Marler coming around this time to four laps to go in heavy lap traffic. Bobby Pierce right there about two car lengths back. Marler three car lengths back. Got a turn number two. Down the back straightaway. Ricky Thornton Jr., Bobby Pierce, and Mike Marler. Fourth is Tanner English. Fifth is Hudson O'Neill off a of turn four. 
Thornton you, behind the 17 go? double S of Brenda Smith. Where do you go? I don't know. I don't have the answer, but you got to go somewhere because the Wolves are behind you. They're coming, man. <laughs> Less than three to go for Ricky Thornton Jr. Pierce right there. Thornton keeps the nose of the 20 RT glued to the inside of the track. In the turn one, here comes Pierce. He's about a car length and a half back. Marler about three back down the back straightaway. Oh, nice move. As he gets around Brandon Smith, sets a pick there between the 32 and the 20 RT. Thornton off a turn number four. The Barrett's performance, one left to go for RTJ. Final time around for the driver, originally out of Cheadler, Arizona. He won the Jackson 100 one year ago. He's going to kick off the weekend with a win tonight in the C.J. Rayburn Memorial. It's Ricky Thornton Jr. Bobby Pierce will finish second. Third goes to Mike, and I stand corrected, Marler nipped Pierce at the line, James. Marler nipped him by three one thousandths of a second, or three wow. one hundredths of a second at the line. Then Pierce third, Tanner English fourth, Hudson O'Neill finishes fifth. Wow. Unofficially your championship four saw Thornton get the win. Davenport was ninth, Moran was 10th, and McCready was 19th, and as you like to wow. say, it's unofficial till it becomes official. They go to the UNO8 scales to check weight and droop, pound per lap burnoff, so 40, la uh, 40 pounds. So they can weigh 23.10 as a minimum. Bobby Pierce led the first 33 laps in control. Thornton caught him in traffic. Bobby slipped up out of the groove just a little bit and Thornton leads the last seven laps to take over the championship points. Again, $200,000. To the champion again this year. Stay with us, folks. The Bowman Family 50 is coming up next. Hey, that's a uh, solid group. Yeah. How about Tanner English? The second year in a row, he has won. He has won the uh, hard charger for the Kentucky driver. Of course, C.J. Rayburn, a native of Kentucky, brought to you by Tim Foster at Indiana U Triple S A Fast Pit Softball. He'll get an additional 500 bucks. Tanner English. Very cool. Very, Very cool, cool stuff. Drivers making their way into the UN 08 scale here. You see, it kind of off to the distance. Back there, again, we are going to do it again tomorrow night with the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series with the biggest paying race in the history of Brownstown Speedway, James, $50,000 to win. How cool is that? It's very cool. How about Marler? If he hadn't slipped off the track on that one-up, but he comes yeah. home in second at the line in the 157 water run. Marler from 10th to 2nd. And Ricky Thornton Jr., he led the last seven laps of the Rayburn family down there. We've got Carla Rayburn. Her better half. How about Billy Moyer in the house tonight? He is yeah. done for the year. Billy Moyer, the Hall of Famer. Down there as well. Kim Rayburn, Steve Wagers. We've got <laughs> Justin Shaw, the grandson. How about the trophy well, that, that they come up with? Cool. That's awesome. Honoring a legend here. We wouldn't be here without him. 1995 track champion C.J. Rayburn. And he would be proud of that one, Ben Shelton. And Ricky Thorne Jr. got it done in a highly entertaining race. That's right. It's official. Your winner, the third annual C.J. Rayburn Memorial, Ricky Thornton Jr. His 14th Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series win of the year. His 26th win overall, the 42nd of his career. And, guys, the first full-filled win that he's picked up since he joined Kohler Motorsports. $10,000 here tonight. And perhaps equally as important, he takes over the top spot in the Big River Steel Chase for the championship presented by ARP. He entered the night 60 points behind your leader with the fast time honors tonight and his performance. He will take over the top spot. And we are going to end for a showcase as we head into tomorrow's Jackson 100 and the Dirt Track World Championship next week. But first, we wait on him to climb out of the race car. We'll talk to your Big River Still top three. How about it? Your feature winner, Ricky Thornton Jr. Sunoco <laughs> checkered flag in hand. The confetti flies. The kids are celebrating. And they're down here in victory lane as he picks up the Lucas Oil, excuse me, the V1 feature win down here in Lucas Oil, victory lane, the C.J. Rayburn Memorial. And down here gets hugs from the kids. Well, we can get you around front, Ricky. I'll tell you what, I'm going to put you next to this trophy right here. Let's, let's step up here. And first and foremost, before we talk about it, to win any race, 
that has the name C.J. Rayburn on it. You're a student of the sport. What does that mean to you? Oh, it's awesome. Uh, obviously, he's a, a big pioneer of the sport, so uh, it was pretty cool. We got to we got to run at Circle Thirty earlier this year for for his uh, his other memorial race. So it's pretty cool to, to be able to pick up both of them. But uh, you know, this wins all thanks to my crew. They uh, been busting their butt this week. Uh, Longhorn, Bill Stein, I've uh, been talking to them a lot too and just trying to get our balance a little bit better. And I felt like we were, we were pretty good there around the bottom. I think Bobby is still a little bit better off the bottom. But uh, overall, it worked out for us. And uh, hopefully we can have another one of these tomorrow. Lab traffic was everywhere tonight, and obviously that played in your favor. How hard was it to be patient out there? Because I'm sure you didn't know how close the guys behind you were. Yeah, no, it was super hard to be patient. And I, I almost felt like I was in a better spot than Bobby just because I could slow down and see him move out and trying to get around the lap cars and stuff like that. But then, like, he'd pass a lap car, but not really get out. So I knew uh, there towards the end, I got behind a couple cars, and they were really good around the bottom. Like, uh, I feel like if I even if I follow him to finish out the race, like, they're going to have to really be good around that middle to get around me. So it, uh, it worked out for us. Uh, the car was pretty awesome all night. Uh, Hopefully you can uh, have enough speed tomorrow. Uh, like I said, I think Kohler Motorsports, uh, Sonoka Race Fuels, Hoker Trucking, uh, Five Star Building, Shocker Hitch, uh, Certified Inspection, EMD, your apps. Just there's there's so many people that help us. The, the boys, uh, Chris, DJ, Ricky, uh, my wife, my, my two little boys, my little girl here. Uh, I thank all the fans for coming out, especially the couple on the back straight away that, that was flipping me off all night. Well, I tell you what, you enter this event, you're 60 points out of the lead, unofficially, now the points leader tomorrow night, obviously. Eldora though, but does this give the team the confidence they need to go after this championship now to go from a lot of people doubted you? They said you couldn't do it. You win tonight your first full field victory with the series since you joined this team. Is this the confidence boost you need to get your first series title? I think so. We, uh, it, it's not that we've been way off the pace. It's just trying to figure out that exact balance you need. It's tough to tough to win these deals no matter where you're at. Uh, I feel like here, I, for some reason, it suits me once it gets slick and it's really methodical around the bottom. So it, uh, I, I feel like our, our car is getting better and better, and uh, I feel like I'm getting a little bit more confident. And uh, obviously, you know, racing's a big confidence thing. So uh, my crew's never gave up, and it's, it's shown. The C.J. Raber Memorial Champion, Ricky Thornton Jr. Second on the Big River Still podium here tonight. Uh, we'll slide over and get a word with him as Mike Morrow catching a word with Bobby Pierce, and we'll talk with Mikey first. He's talking with Bob Pierce down here, and Mikey goes from 10th to 2nd. Mikey, there was one restart there. I thought you might. We we're going to hug it out. It's been a while. Welcome back to the Big River Still podium. There was a moment I thought that maybe you were going to repeat in this, but you come home second. How big was this performance tonight for this team? Hey, it was huge. You know, we, we've had a rough time, and I, I just hate it for my guys and my team, you know, Skyline and Josh and Gary and Cody, my wife, Stacy, everything she's got to put up with when I'm running bad. So, uh, uh, yeah, it's been a rough summer, but, you know, uh, I was digging hard for CJ there. Uh, I thought I'd put her on, her, on my lid there coming off for that lap, and I uh, just didn't get there. But, uh, hey, it's a good race. The fans seen a good race. Bobby and Ricky, that little, we had a little excitement there, Dan, and Ricky snuck in there. So, and you know, that's a – a rare thing to see Bobby get caught up in something, you know. So it was a, it was an awesome race, and uh, definitely glad to get this 157 anywhere near the front right now. Talk about that last lap. How were you able to get second at the line? I just uh, the the one of the guys there pinched Bobby down a little bit, and I didn't really have nothing to lose. And there was a little bit of crumbs I could get in, so I got in his crumbs and rolled him a little bit. And he was probably pretty frustrated, I would imagine, too, with everything that happened there. So, uh, but yeah, it was um, uh, just. Snuck through there, you know, and thought I was going to get the lead there. Just didn't didn't hardly get there. And they all four running the high side was really, uh, really thin, you know, so I got over. So fun racetrack, though. Again, once again, at Brownstown, awesome racetrack, awesome crowd. And, uh, you know, uh, been a been a, a awesome year running Lucas. You know, I really had a lot of fun with it and uh, haven't had the results I want. But, uh, you know, these guys will toughen you up and make you better, too. Race fans, Mike Marler comes home second on the Big River Steel podium. And Bobby... I know this is probably one of your more disappointing third place finishes, man. You, you controlled the race. What happened late? Thornton said it was probably toughest on you to be leading. Is that how you felt as well? Yeah, I mean, you know, there's a couple guys out there that don't need to be racing and a couple guys that need to retire. So uh, they're going three wide and they're running dead last. So it is what it is. We'll just, uh, I have to get through there better. Uh, if I got door out of the way, I got door out of the way, do what you got to do. Because, you know, it's tough. We had a good car, so they got in dirty air. And, um, you know, once you catch the lap traffic and, they're throwing the crumbs. It's just your, your car changes and you're not quite used to it. So we had a really good car. I think we were able to win. We just had a really bad, bad corner there. He missed it and I, and I got into him and 
um, it's tough, you know, when you got the, this good competition here. And, uh, you know, Marler, I don't know where he started, but it seemed like he had a really good car run the top, and I didn't expect him to be there to pass me. So um, it is what it is. We'll get the bumper fixed. Go on tomorrow. We got a long 100 lap race. So uh, see what we got for him. All right, guys, Bobby Pierce rounds out the Big River still podium in third. Quite the way to start this Jackson weekend. Jackson won her oh weekend with the CJ yep. Rayburn Memorial Champion, first time Ricky Thornton Jr. And we have updated points in front of us right now as well. James, Ricky Thornton Jr. will leave here tonight. We'll go into tomorrow's Jackson 100 with a 20-point advantage over Devin Moran. Jonathan Davenport third. He's just 25 behind, and Tim McCready loses ground at one. 45. You still have that battle, a tight battle for fifth and sixth between Hudson O'Neill and Garrett Alberson. Whew. How about it? Go ahead and take a look. interviews, right? Yes. I, I want to see the two people on the back straight over that were flipping him off or flipping <laughs> Ricky off, right? Well, let's take a look. Maybe we'll see it. We have the Lucas Oil race recap. Maybe here. they'll be probably, on the race recap. Probably not. I got probably a, I got a not. feeling they won't be. But uh, this one started off with Bobby Pierce bringing the field to the green and leading the field for several laps of this one through several cautions. The slicker graphic slick is smooth the race, you called it. I mean, Mike Marler is three wide. <laughs> right between them here on the front straightaway, McCready. There you see getting sideways, tough luck for him. He'll get a, a tough break award tonight. As you see the battle, Dennis serve Jr. was good here. He got all the way up to second after starting in ninth. You see the battle there between Marler and Thornton, but Marler had that one bad lap, Dustin, as he probably had the fastest car on the track. And right there it was, he got off the bank in turn four. And there's yep. the pass for the lead, Dustin. Yep, Ricky Thornton Jr. was able to sink down to the inside of Bobby Pierce and grab the lead in that one, and he hangs on to lead the final seven laps and get his first full field win since joining Kohler Motorsports. Ben Shelton, your final thoughts on the opening night of the Jackson 100 weekend here at Brownstown. Well, tomorrow night is the richest Jackson 100 ever here for this facility, and the stakes just got that much higher because the battle for the title got that much tighter. Don't think that Devin Moran is not going to be looking for redemption tomorrow. Ricky Thornton Jr. has brought a really good race car here, though, and don't count Jonathan Davenport out, and we're going to see if Tim McCready can bounce back but either way what a way to start what is going to be an amazing weekend here at the jackson county fairgrounds absolutely my friend james wow a good opening night from the house that essex built hey one thing you never hear here is arrow push or anything like that right no dirty air it's all good and uh man ricky thorne jr he won the cj rayburn tribute at circle city back earlier this year gets the rayburn memorial here tonight at brownstown congratulations and we're going to do it all again tomorrow. Don't forget, autograph session 430, Dirt Racing Outreach at 3, 6 o'clock hot laps. We have the Bowman Family 50 coming up next with Dustin George on the call. 2,500 to win, Dustin Jarrett. Absolutely. Great call, brother. That Great was call. fun. Let's yes, do sir. it again, we'll brother. We'll do it again tomorrow night. Don't go anywhere if you're here on the grounds or watching at home. On the other side of this set of commercial breaks, we got the Bowman Family 50 for the Indiana Pro Late Model Series. It's MAV-TV on Flow Racing.